Hello developers, in this video I'll be showing you how you can set up all my posts on your Windows machine including Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. After the setup you will have a nice looking terminal like me plus uh, the features like control clicking the file path as you see to open the file explorer and also file listing with icon plus uh, active uh, gate branch name as you can see the master branch name here. Also your username will have a different background color if you open the terminal as administrator. Notice here as I type cd it's actually suggesting me to autocomplete my command based on my previous command history. This is the most handy feature of all my posh as I found. That's it. Let's follow the official documentation for installation. So you can come to all my posh official website and then click on get started. I'll be using Wingate to install um, on my Bosch. But before that, in the meantime, let's uh, download PowerShell. So you can open store and search for PowerShell and then just click on get. In the meantime, this PowerShell installation finishes. We continue with on my Bosch installation. Let's open the terminal as administrator and run this on my Bosch installation command. This will install the Omai Porsche executable and the Omai Porsche themes. Now we need to install a font uh, needed by Omai Porsche. Omai Porsche is designed to use NAT fonts. So, NAT font official website has some uh, fonts that you can manually download and install. But I would prefer to go with uh, the terminal based installation. Here you can use the up and down key of your keyboard to select your preferred font. I prefer to go with hack font. Next I will install terminal icons to have a nice looking directory listing with icons. I will provide the link of this module in the description. Next, we will change our default terminal from Windows PowerShell to PowerShell. Then click on the Open JSON file setting. So here basically we will change the order of PowerShell. Also, we'll hide the default Windows PowerShell by setting the hidden value to true. Let's close and reopen the terminal now. You can see by default it opened PowerShell and also the PowerShell is showing on the top. Now let's configure PowerShell to use on my Posh. So here basically we need to configure our profile script. So profile script is a script basically runs when uh, every time you open your terminal. So we'll configure it to load uh, on my Posh module and also the terminal icons module that we installed. If the profile script file opens like me, then you already have the profile script file. Otherwise, you have to create the file following this command. The new item command creates the profile script file. I'm using the code profile command to open the profile script in Visual Studio Code. If you don't have Visual Studio Code, you could use a notepad command. Let's copy this command to add to our profile script. So here we configured oh my Bosch with default theme. Let's see how the default theme looks like. For that, let's close and reopen the terminal. But we see some unusual character. This is because we haven't configured the font. We have installed the NARD hack font, but we haven't configured PowerShell to load hack font. Let's configure it out from additional appearance setting. I prefer one of dark color scheme and also the font hack NARD font.
I also prefer 90% background opacity. You can see the fonts has been applied. This is the default theme, but there is another theme that I prefer. You can also configure your own preferred theme following this. You can use get post themes uh, to view uh, every available fonts. I prefer to use any for a theme with some customization. So to use any other theme, you have to just pass the config file path or you can pass remote config uh, path here as well. Let's copy the command for local file path. When we install oh my post, it's actually downloaded the themes. So you can find the themes in this directory. I'll just copy the any for a theme uh, into my partial script directory. Let's copy the any for a config path and update it. Now we'll close and reopen the terminal to see the new theme effect. We see the new theme in place now. Now we will add this import module command in your profile script for file listing icons. Now close and reopen the terminal and then just type ls and enter. You can see you have file listing with icons now. But in this theme, the path section color is yellow, but I'd like to change it to a different color that I like. I like this bluish path section color. So I'll just copy the color from bluish. You can press Ctrl and left click on mouse to open this bluish config file in Visual Studio Code. I will just copy paste the bluish uh, foreground and background color. Let's reopen the terminal now. Now the path section got the bluish color. Everything seems okay. Let's open another terminal as administrator. You see username background color of admin terminal is red, which doesn't go well with Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. I like the username background color of item too, so I'll just copy from it. Paste the copied color in if root section. Let's close and reopen the terminal now and see. The background color has changed, but uh, for foreground, white would be good. So I'll create a template for foreground as well. I'll copy the same foreground color for non-admin user, but for admin user or root user, I'll change it to hide color. Let's reopen the terminal as admin now and see the changes. 
now we see the username background color is not red anymore here we can see the admin and non-admin terminal one more time Control plus left clicking the file path opens uh, the path in file explorer as well everything working as expected to me let's uh, set up all my posh in visual studio now let's select the default uh, developer powershell and click add it will basically copy the setting from developer powershell let's give it a name and all we need to do is uh, change the shell location from developer powershell to the new powershell that we installed and configured you can get the new powershell location uh, from the setting just pass the new PowerShell location and also ensure that our new PowerShell is the default one let's close and reopen the Visual Studio we can see the PowerShell terminal with uh, all my push inside Visual Studio now let's go for Visual Studio code now At first, we need to install the PowerShell extension. Then open the terminal setting and search for default. Then ensure integrated terminal for Windows profile is set to PowerShell then uh, let's search for font and then we'll add uh, our newly installed font that is hack not font you can see the terminal is using the new font now we also have the file icons as well also the autocomplete suggestion is working as well by the way we have to press the right arrow key to accept the command suggestion that's it guys thank you